Hello and welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet. My name is Harriet. Thank you for your patience over the last couple of weeks while I've been trying to figure out what I'm doing with my car. If you didn't know, my car broke down when we were four hours away from home. So it's been a little bit of a stressful time for me. I don't actually completely know whether my car is fixable or not yet. It seems like it might not be because it appears to be the engine, but I'm having my uncle who's a mechanic look at it. So we will see. But I finally had some free time to sit down, relax and film a video. So I thought I'd talk through some Christmassy recommendations for books that I think that you should read or gift around the Christmas period. I do understand that I may be a little bit late with this now, but I really wanted to do this video. That's why I'd set myself a festive TBR to read in November, which that video will be coming up very soon. But yeah, let's talk through some recommendations for Christmassy books. These are in no particular order and I haven't really thought about a number of books that I want to recommend. I just wrote down my favourites and ones that I really enjoyed either in the previous month or over the last year. The first one I'm going to start with I think is a given so that's why I'm just going to throw it in there very quickly and that is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is a classic for a reason, it is a beautifully written book and I have read it multiple times now. It is just so sweet. Obviously you've got loads of film adaptations if you do enjoy the book as well. If you didn't know we're following a character named Scrooge and he is very stingy with his money, he doesn't celebrate the festive period, he doesn't really understand what Christmas is about. So he is visited by three different spirits. You've got Christmas past, Christmas present and Christmas future or Christmas yet to come. And they teach him what it means to celebrate family, love, friendship and what the Christmas season is all about. It's just such a lovely, sweet book and I definitely recommend it for anyone. I feel like it'd be good for pretty much all ages. It's a really sweet story. I do actually have a collection of Charles Dickens' other Christmas stories but I haven't got around to it yet. It is at my house and at the moment I am at Callum's. So when I get back home, once my car is fixed and I can actually move about places, then maybe I'll give that a go. The next book I read last year and I thought it was really sweet. It's not my favourite book ever but I definitely recommend it if you're more of a romance type of person as opposed to classic or fantasy. And that is going to be The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss. This was quite a big book last year and the year previous. I have seen it in a couple of very cheap stores such as The Works, I've seen some in the charity shops and I've also seen it in QD if you have one of those local to you for £2.50 so definitely snap that up if you get the chance. I believe I got it on sale for 99p on the Kindle or it might have been part of Kindle Unlimited, I don't really remember. This is a rom-com story, very short, very sweet, following a character who is kind of fed up of the dating game but wants to give it one last shot before she decides she's just going to give up. A friend recommends this new app that's come out where you have 12 dates across the Christmas period. They're all blind dates and obviously this follows our main character going through this as well as going through some stuff in her personal life trying to figure out who she is. I just think it was a really lovely story. I did honestly predict what was going to happen. I thought it was fairly obvious from the start who she was going to get with but it was still a fun journey seeing her go on all of these dates and seeing her grow as a person. Loads of really lovely descriptions of Christmas markets and Christmassy food and drink. Just a really sweet cozy story and very easy to read as well if you don't like anything too intense. Another super easy to read story that I adored last year when I read it was The Christmas Pig by JK Rowling. This is a children's book but definitely enjoyable for adults as well following our main character who loses his favourite teddy called Der Pig and what happens when he tries to find this teddy ends up in the land of the lost toys and lost things. Such a sweet unusual story. I actually think that the magic system world building was really strong for a children's book. It was very entertaining as you would expect from this author having written the Harry Potter series and I felt like it dealt with quite a lot of serious adult themes as well as putting in all those wonderful things for children to enjoy when they're listening to or reading the book. I just think it was a very well thought out, well planned story and went in directions I wasn't expecting it to. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Inside Out by Pixar in the fact that there are these inanimate objects that come to life and some of the lost things also include emotions. I just found it very, very fascinating. Super cute, very easy to read and the edition that I had was the hardback one that has all the illustrations in and it is just gorgeous. So it make a really nice gift for someone as well. Another book that I'd like to recommend, I actually just recently read and have got a separate review up for as well, that is Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. So this book is very high fantasy, absolutely hilarious, so much fun, very easy to read as well. I can't say too much about the storyline because I feel like it will ruin it but we're following multiple different characters. Some of them are gods, some of them are entities, some of them are just regular human beings. There's some kooky stuff going on. If you want to see my full review, then I'll leave it linked down below where I kind of react to the author's writing for the first time. This is my first time trying a Terry Patrick book. 
and I have never read anything from within this series before as well so this is part of the Discworld series and some of the books I do think you have to read in a certain order but this one you can just read as a standalone. I didn't have any issues when reading it and it just felt so Christmassy. You literally have Santa Claus and you also have death as an entity. You have people going to Christmas parties, you have descriptions of shops where Christmas decorations are up. It was just perfect. I really really loved this book. It was so much fun, so much funnier than what I would expect it to be and a definite classic for sure. If you love fantasy you will really enjoy this book. Very light-hearted. So I feel like it'd be a good way to get into fantasy actually. It is quite intense with how much stuff is unbelievable and fantastical but it is so easy to read that I feel like not many people would struggle with it. I'm going to throw a little bit of a wild card in here now because it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Christmas but it always puts me in the Christmassy spirit when I read this book or I should say this collection of books, short stories. So that is the Winnie the Pooh story collection by A.A. A. Milne. Obviously I'm pretty sure most people, most of you will know who Winnie the Pooh is. He is a bear and the collection of stories follows his adventures with his friends and Christopher Robin and depending what edition you get you can get ones with illustrations in there and those illustrations usually depict winter scenes and the changing of the seasons and it just always puts me in a really festive spirit when I read those wintry stories so you don't have to read them in any order because they are just short sweet tales and I think it would be perfect to get this as a gift for someone who is a fan of Disney or who has always loved Winnie the Pooh or loves children's stories if you have any young people in your life I think this would be a very cute gift to give them. The edition I have is the collector's edition. I can't remember how many years but it was an anniversary edition and I definitely recommend that so if I can find that anywhere I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But I really love reading this collection. There's so many stories for you to get through and you don't have to read them in any order which is perfect so you can just dip them whenever you like. Also perfect for rainy days but as I say it just really puts me in the Christmas spirit. So those are all of the books that I'd like to recommend to you, either for you to read or to get as gifts for people. I loved every single one of these books. I was going to put a couple on here that maybe I didn't love but I thought other people would love but I didn't think that, that seemed very genuine. So if you feel like your tastes are similar to mine or you know someone who has tastes that are similar to mine then definitely check out those books. I am actually affiliated with Waterstones and Blackwells so the links are down below in the description. If you do use those to purchase any books then I will get a very small commission which will help me pay for my car when I find out how much it is going to be. But if you don't want to use those links then that's completely fine. Anyway that is everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!